Hi guys, it's Ola from Maker.io and today I'm going to show you how to salvage artwork from a very complex vector-based dress-up game or similar. So this is for games that have artwork that is essentially created dynamically, so it's really hard. You can't just go into the library and pull out the bitmaps, you can't just um, make a sprite sheet of all the movie clips because it's more complex than that. So what I've done is I've added a button that's always accessible when I play the game and it's just on the top layer there. And I've given it the PNG encoder functionality. And this is something you can look for instructions online. I'm not going to get into details, but essentially this is the code that lets you save a PNG image as opposed to the JPEG encoder, which saves a JPEG, which is what I normally use for people saving images in the game. But now we need the PNG encoder because we need transparency. So what happens is you click on the button and the first thing is that the character gets scaled up four times. This is because these are vector graphics, so we can scale them up indefinitely. And we're going to go from vector to bitmap. Once we go to bitmap, we can't scale up anymore. So it's good to start with nice, big, crisp images, because we can always scale down for whatever we need later, but we can't scale up once we're at bitmap. So I'm going to start with a big image, then we're going to save a large enough bitmap to accommodate the character being four times the size, in this case 1600 by 2400 pixels. Then we save the image and then we scale back down so that we can continue using the menu normally. And now the character, he's still here, but I went inside the character bitmap and I hid all of his um, items, you know, his body, his hair, and the clothes are toggled on and off with the menu anyway, so I didn't have to do anything to those. So how it works is, for example, I will go to the shirts. Now there is probably millions of possibilities that you can make here between the shirts, the fabric patterns, and the three colors you can toggle. And it's just not possible to save all those possibilities going to bitmaps. But I could, for example, decide to save five variants of each shirt. So let's say we want this shirt, but this pattern, we want it kind of in bluey purples. And we're like, great. So now I just click save. Behind the scenes, it's enlarging it four times, and then it shrunk it back down. That's why it looks normal. Now we'll say shirt, this is shirt three, uh, blurple. And what we have here is now a PNG. A trans There's transparency all around, but we have this shirt as a nice, crisp, very large, high-resolution bitmap. So what we do after that is, is we basically we have to continue this until we get all the items that we want. You know, we can change this and now download that and so on. Once we have all our bitmaps, we go to Photoshop and file, scripts, load files into stack. So I had previously started to pull some out. So here is, for example, the beards, the bodies, hairstyles and head shapes I think. So we pick a bunch of files and this process can be a bit slow. Okay it's ready to go and what this is now doing is Photoshop is opening each one of those image files one by one and copy pasting it into a uh, one PSD file which is what we want. Now the big advantage of doing things this way as opposed to some of the other methods in the other videos is because we are always saving from the same registration point you will notice now that all the items are already aligned, so that saves us a lot of work later on. We don't have to move things around. The head will be aligned with the body and so on. But this process right now, as I said in the other video, is super slow, so go get a coffee, go get lunch while this compiles. So now everything compiled, at least all the files have so far, and it's just a matter of figuring out where everything goes again and just organizing it into folders so you can upload it into Maker. Will this work? Show how to layers. Okay. So beard. I see I, I was smart and I labeled everything as I was saving it. So this is all beard A. No. Beard A. Color picker. And then we would get a hex code for each item. And so on. Okay. 
Name every layer after the color, put color picker on the folder, then shove all the beards into one master beard folder. And there's the bodies. Body will be fixed. And we could do a color picker, but oh yeah, I think we would have to do a color picker because the body and the head are separate in this game. So body color picker and we would do enable color global skin and then we would also put the same enable color global skin on the head menu so that the skin tones are toggled together and yeah you just continue following the other maker instructions labeling everything as is save file and then when you're ready to upload shrink it down to a resolution that's smaller and upload that and there you go what?